we will learn about integer arrays today in assembly language and arrays are also called as multiple initializers okay so uh, first thing i want to clear is that in the integer arrays work similar as any other high level languages right लाइक जैसे पहले हम लोग सी लैंग्वेज में हमने अरेस कॉमनली यूज़ की हुई हैं तो जैसा अरेस का कॉन्सेप्ट वहाँ पर है सिमिलर कॉन्सेप्ट यहाँ पे भी अप्लाई होता है ठीक है सो हाउ द एरेस वर्क इफ मल्टीपल इनिशलाइजर्स आई यूज इन द सेम डेटा डेफिनेशन इट्स लेबल रिफर्स ऑनली टू द ऑफ सेट ऑफ द फर्स्ट इनिशलाइजर अदर मेम्बर्स कैन बी एक्सेस्ड बाई इंक्रीमेंटिंग दर्स्ट ऑफ सेट ऑफ द फर्स्ट मेम्बर ओके सो हेयर वी मस्ट नो वट वट इज मैन बाई लेबल एंड वट इज मैन बाई द ऑफ सेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट अबाउट द ऑफ सेट दैट इज द एड्रेस एंड लेबल इज बेसिकली द नेम ऑफ द एरे एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस होल थिंग बेटर बाय द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल सो सी हेयर अज्यूम अवर डेटा इज लोकेटेड एट एड्रेस दिस राइट अवर फर्स्ट डेटा अवर यू कैन सी द एलिमेंट ऑफ अवर फर्स्ट the first element of our array is at this uh, location if so the value 10 is at the offset this 20 the next value will be at the next address that is this 30 will be at the very next address 40 will be at the next right here you can see this sequence this then this and this it tells it shows that arrays are stored as in the consecutive locations it is just like array of bytes all the bytes are consecutive and accessible through a common mechanism it works just like any high level language okay nothing is new over here so we can understand it better from here that suppose we have this array this is how we declare array okay this is the name of the array this is our data type and these are our initializers that is 1 2 3 4 5 are the elements of this array right in assembly language to access the integer to access this fifth element stored in fifth byte of the list we will increment its label that is array by 4 why i am saying 4 because this one is stored at index 0 1 Two, three, and four. So, in order to access the fifth element, I have to, uh, you can say that increment the label by four. Here you can see, if I write as the name of the array plus zero, it does what? It will give me the element of array, the very first element of the array that is one. If I write it as array plus one, zero plus one is this. It will display me two. Then array plus two, it will give me three. Array plus Three, it will give me four. Okay, and also uh, the number one is located at this address. Then the second number will be located at the very next address, that is at the consecutive locations. And this is the way of how we access our these elements if we want to print our elements like this. And then we can use the call write int. right so in this way we can access the elements of the array and this is how we can declare our array here one important thing um, before going to the coding part you have to know is that in the lecture one we have studied that first 8 bits of the ex register are called as the al register i have discussed this thing deeply already in the first lecture you have to see it first that the ex register is a 32 bit register and if we divide it into two parts then we get our ax register and if ax register is further divided into two parts we get our al and ah register where al is the lower part of the ax register so byte variable can only be stored in the al register because both have the same size we know that the al register is a 8 bit register and the byte also need 8 bits right so if we want to store our byte some byte variable then we can only use the al register suppose if i use this i'm using this byte variable and if i move this byte variable into the eax register right ex is a 32 bit integer uh, uh, register so 
if i'm moving only 8 bits into 32 bits it means the rest of the um, bits are just wasting right garbage is going over there so in order to avoid that situation we have to do something to print a byte from the list array offset of the respective byte will be moved to AL register before doing this what we have to do importantly we will move, remove the garbage from the ex register by storing zero in it okay this is very important we have to move zero into the whole ex register and then we can use al register to move our data in al okay this is done because the incoming byte will only overwrite the first 8 bits. Why first 8 bits? Because the first 8 bits of EX register are nothing but AL register. Okay. Rest of the 24 bits will still have garbage value. So in order to avoid, we move 0 in AX always. It means the whole uh, theory is that we uh, first move 0 in AX and at the very next instruction we just use al register um, for our arrays if we are using the byte data type but if we are using d word right d word type because it use only 32 bits and here ex is also a 32 bit uh, register so in that case these both are will be compatible to each other then we don't need to move any zero into the ex register but in this case when these two are not same then we have to use we have to move zero there i hope this is clear otherwise you can see lecture one so for your practice here comes a question declare an integer array i have already told uh, that how we can do this initialize it and you have to display it on the screen so the solution is coming soon so that's it for today see you